Hey there, folks. This is Amber. I am going to go over our Discord channel and just cover some of the basics on how to set it up and all that kind of fun stuff because we do use Discord for our community as well as our four-week workshop. So if you're going to be a part of any of those things, it's going to be important for you to kind of get used to the way that this program works. I know that when you open it, it's going to look a little bit confusing, but once you kind of understand how the system thinks, it'll make a lot more sense. So to get us started, go ahead and head over to ptt.live and you will show up on our fancy schmancy website and you're going to go up to community and hit join the discord. Now you're going to want to make sure that you have an account for discord. I am already logged in, so it will tell me, hey, you've been, you're going to accept this invite. And once you hit that accept invite, it is going to open up to this fancy little page, which is our print that thing community discord. So I'm just going to go over the interface because it does look a little like crazy opening it up. So keep in mind, I'm going to show you how to use this in a browser. I prefer doing browser based stuff because I can turn it off and turn it on when I want it. You can also download discord on your cell phone as well, which is pretty awesome. So first thing you need to know is to your far, far left, this is pretty much all the different chats that I'm in. So it looks, you're not gonna see all of these, you're just gonna see probably this first one and the home button. I am a, in a bunch of gaming channels, so yeah, I have a bunch of them. That's kind of what this is built for. It is actually built for gaming, but slowly but surely it has been used for D&D and communities, things like that, especially getting into the Blender community. You're gonna find that a lot of websites actually use Discord to stay in touch with each other. So this will be a good tool for you to kind of dive into and get to know. So this is the Print That Thing channel. You're going to notice that it has the Print That Thing logo. Anytime that you are looking for the Print That Thing channel, just always click on that Print That Thing logo. You also have a home button up here, which we'll go over here in a minute, but let's just focus on Print That Thing first. So right next to your channel list, you're going to have a, or your chat room list, you're gonna have a channel list. And so each chat room is gonna be a little bit different. And so once you get in here, I would highly suggest going ahead and clicking on the about channel. So the about channel is just kind of a breakdown of what is going on, kind of our general rules, the server descriptions of each of our channels. So channels are these fancy schmancy hashtagged little spaces. So clicking on them, each one has their own per particular use. So chit chat is just kind of like, hey guys, what's going on? What you creating? Uh, events, we will be posting any kind of events that we'll be hosting or events that you find online that could be helpful for the community to possibly look into. The share and tell is actually a really cool little space where you can just kind of share and tell. Talk about the things that you're creating, the things that you're excited about creating and all the fun stuff. So um, it's also where Jason will be posting some of his newer designs for the community to kind of be aware is available to them to download. Uh, the design challenges, if you find any design challenges that are fun to participate in, go ahead and post those there, inspiration, so on and so forth. Um, if you're part of the four week workshop, these are these channels are actually locked to only paid members that are participating in the workshop. So if you don't have access to these, do not panic. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go down to our back end channels and you're going to go to access request. And this access request channel, you'll just say, hey guys, I am a workshop member. I need access and we'll do all the back end stuff to get you set up for these channels. And then you'll get a notice like, hey, we set you up, you're good to go. Then you should be able to dive right on in to the workshop channel. So workshop facts is basically just kind of questions or strange little things that you might have questions about. It's also a great place for uh, alumni to share information about things that they find along their journey after the workshop. The channel that you're gonna be paying attention to the most during the workshop is gonna be the four week beginner workshop channel. This is where you'll be able to chat with each other, talk to any of the admin about technical things that you might need help with. That is the basics of your chat service in terms of organization. Uh, this is your chat box, pretty straightforward. You can type all the fun stuff you want, blah, blah, blah. And um, just kind of click around, see what, what's going on down here. Uploading stuff, GIFs, 
um, emojis. Now over in your far right corner, these are all the other members that are part of Print That Thing. And I would highly recommend before you go too deep into it, go ahead and change your nickname. So I've already changed my nickname, but the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna right click your name and you're gonna go to change nickname. And you'll be able to type in whatever name you want. Please make it work appropriate. <laughs> your first name we would suggest be what it is, but if you prefer to change it for whatever reason and to a cooler username that's awesome too but for the workshop it's a lot easier for us if we know who we're chatting with and what work goes with whom so that is the basic typing text chat that you need to know for the channel when we do our weekly meetups you are going to join the weekly meetups audio channel. So this audio channel is where we will be participating with Jason to go over your coursework and your assignments that you have submitted for the week. Now, what you want to do is you want to click on there and this will be where you'll see his beautiful face chatting it up. Um, it's also where you'll be able to access any screen shares that he might be participating in. So if he goes, hey guys, I'm going to do a screen share, make sure you click on over. You actually get to choose which screen you're watching the most. So you will have complete control over all of that. Now, so if you do have a microphone or you do have a webcam, awesome, please use it. We would love to see your shining faces and hear your pretty voices. So the way that you would actually unmute yourself, so as you can see, these are muted people. That means that they don't have any microphones on. My microphone is off because <laughs> I am using it to record this video. But um, what we're going to do is if you see that you are muted, you can come down here and click unmute. Anytime that you see a red line through that microphone, that means no one can hear you and you probably want to undo that. Um, the next step is if you are ever deafened, that means that you can't hear anything, always check that this button is not slashed out. It means that you are purposely muting the channel. So go ahead and unmute the channel. That's totally cool. Now, if for whatever reason unclicking these doesn't work, you're going to need to go into your user settings. So in your user settings, you will have a section called voice and video, which is usually under app settings. Go ahead and click on that. And this is telling me microphone is denied because I'm using it for something else. But uh, the voice settings, just kind of go through here and make sure that your input device is correct and your output device is correct. You can always do a mic test ahead of time. I would highly suggest just keeping these on your default settings. Um, the only thing that you'll really need to change is your input device and your output device. Uh, if you need further help with setting up your gear, just let me know in the chat and we will be able to get you through that. So so just remember when you do open sub windows within Discord, there's always gonna be a little special X up here. It took me a second to find this when I originally first started and it was so super frustrating. So there's an escape button, just hit the escape button and you'll go back to whatever channel you were part of before. So um, hypothetically, if someone were chatting in here, I would be able to hear them but I'd also be able to hear them if I clicked away from there and I was in the chat box. So so in this particular channel, the four week beginner workshop channel, I'd be able to communicate with Jason through text if I didn't have a webcam or I didn't have a microphone. So this workshop does not require you to have those things. Um, it's just if you wanna participate in that fashion, that is an option and we highly encourage it, but is not required. Now, um, let's see. Say we finished our meetup and the meetup is over and everyone's super happy and jazzed and inspired to dive into the next week. Just always remember to close out of the voice connected chat. That because sometimes someone might jump in and chat about and you'll start hearing voices coming from your computer and you won't know where it's coming from. It's probably from Discord. I've done that a couple of times. It's a little creepy, but just always hit disconnect. Uh, how'd the call go? I love the call. The call was great. Um, <laughs> and you'll be out of there. So click it, you'll get in. Click out, you'll get out. So it'll be fun. Um, all right. The next thing that you need to know is Discord is also built for direct messaging. So if at any point you need to get a hold of me or get a hold of Jason, I would recommend getting a hold of me first. Um, if you have any kind of tech issues, if you have any 
printing or workshop issues, go ahead and hit up Jason because he'll know how to answer those questions. Um, so if you double click on any of these names, you can type a message. And I'm going to say, hey, Jason. Go ahead and send him that message and it'll open up a direct message. Um, now I'm going to have someone message me back. So if you're ever in a chat in the print that thing discord and you notice that someone has sent you a message up here, that is a direct message directly to you from somebody else. And it's going to show up anytime that someone sends you a message that you are not actively in that chat box. So go ahead and we'll click on that guy. Print that thing has responded. You'll notice that it has gone away because I have clicked on here. Doesn't mean that it has disappeared whatsoever. So if you go back to the print that thing channel after you've commented back, you'll see that it's not there anymore. You'll go ahead and hit the home button and the home button will bring back your direct message area. So I have a bunch of these direct messages with people that I've chatted with over the last couple of weeks and I'll be able to kind of dive back into any of those conversations. That's it. And if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know in the chat. I would recommend chit chat or you can just direct message me because you should know how to do that by now. Alrighty. I hope your day is magical and that you are creating every second of every day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy Discord. We're so happy that you are choosing to join us on the Print That Thing Discord. Have a great day.